Ah, the Sea of Thieves. By now, you may have fought off skeleton hordes, other player pirates, and stumbled upon hidden vaults. However, have you embarked upon the tall tales? You will be required to fight skeleton bosses, rob graves, and reunite long lost lovers. You'll be dealing with traps and puzzles galore, all in the pursuit of the shores of gold and the gold hoarder that lies there in wait. But first, you will have to recover and restore the coveted Shroud Breaker. So what are you waiting for? Grab your crew and let's embark upon the lore-filled tall tales. The tall tale starts in the back of every tavern near the mysterious stranger. Off to his right is the tall tale, the Shroudbreaker. You and your crew vote to start it here, then you get a ton of dialogue and lore from this guy. Personally, I just went ahead and read the entire thing. You get a lot of backstory on the Shroudbreaker, what it's all about, and uh, that you're going to be headed towards these shores of gold at some point. But first things first, you have to recover the Shroud Breaker, which was last seen on the Magpie's wing. Once he's done talking, go to your quest tab and you'll find that you have a journal that gives you some more information about the Magpie's wing and how they were ambushed. You're gonna want to know where they were ambushed at and where they sunk. Let's go down to the boat and figure that out. The most important page that you will need to have is the second to last page in this book. It is sewed right here. It shows where the magpie wing was taken down between Crook's Hollow and Crooked Mast. It's actually an uncharted island at N13. Once you're here, you'll pull up at shore, jump off, and pull out your compass. Now that you have your compass out, head to the northwest part of the island right next to this journal. You'll need that later. Jump off with a sword lunge and underwater you'll find the magpie's wing wreckage and you'll want the very back of the boat where the captain's quarters is. Inside on a chair you will find more notes for the journal. Head back to your ship, open up the quest journal and you will see you now have a recounting of what happened the day the magpie wing was sunk. You're going to need that to find out where they threw the chest overboard. In my journal entry, it talks about how they started at Discovery Ridge. They passed a fort on their starboard side. That is the right. That is this lost gold fort. And then they continued on to the northeast to a small island. That will be Chicken Isle in our case. So now we need to go to Chicken Isle. Once we're on our way to Chicken Isle, again, we pull up this time on the south side of Chicken Isle. And we want to be here because that's where they dropped it. I swam in the water, went over, saw a small glint in the water over here, and boom, ancient chest. Bring that back to our ship. Once you open it up, you'll see that there are journal pages and a totem. This totem opens up a vault on a island. The scarab totem is this one. It is the default for the shroud breaker quest. These are the other ones that you could get. Uh, you would only get these if someone is already doing this quest at the same time as you. And these are the locations of each of the vaults for each totem. We will be headed to Crook's Hollow. Once there, you'll find it behind a waterfall there is a vault. I pulled up on the incorrect side of the island, and if you do this, that's fine. You just have to go to the right side of the docks, back in this cave, and you will see the back of the waterfall. Here, there is a spot to place your totem. Inside this vault, inside the vault, is a puzzle. First thing you'll have to do is light all four of these corners on this pool down here. Once you have that done, you press this button and you get a puzzle. Follow the instructions in your journal to get the patterns that you need. So you'll turn each one to what the pattern says. The very use the very first one here, and then you come back and press the button. And you repeat that until you get to the last one. Uh, you gotta hurry though, because the vault is filling with water. Once you do that, the water goes away and you have these little landmarks. Follow the pool, go to where the landmark is, and dig it up. Now watch out though, you're gonna have to fight off skeletons every time you dig up one of these medallions. They are barnacles, so they have like a little scrapey sound when you're fighting. Don't worry about that. Anyways, grab the medallion, run back to the vault, throw it into the first spot, and you'll get your second one. You're gonna repeat this for each landmark that it gives you, and continue on your way until you have all three medallions. Now this last one was a little bit more difficult. 
I had to search quite a bit and then I realized there's a face on this stone. So uh, at the very top of the island, right about in the middle, there is a stone face right there. And that's where I found my third one. Um, it may be slightly different on the location for each one. That's okay, just try and try your best to find out where it goes. Once that is in, you push the button and voila, the Shroud Breaker. Congratulations guys, you have found the Shroud Breaker. Uh, the problem is we still have to take it to the Mysterious Stranger as it is re reported right here. Pick up your Shroud Breaker, head back to your ship, and you can take it back to any outpost. Uh, I, you'll probably be between Ancient Spire and Plunder. I originally picked Ancient Spire, but Plunder was faster. Uh, turn this into this man right here, and he will go on about how it's missing all kinds of gems to make it work. Unfortunately, you will still have to find those, but your quest for the Shroud Breaker and this tall tale are over. Congratulations, you now have a Pirate Lord hat. But there's more to this tall tale than you really expected. There are journals to find as well, as we will see right here. Into your pirate log under reputation, then tall tales, you will see that going through it once opens up the pirate lord's hat, but leaves you with other tasks. Complete all these tasks, you'll have to run the tale through five times, as well as finding five journals while you're out questing. Before going out for journals, we're going to take a quick dance break to remind you to hit the like and sub button and leave a comment so that you can see more awesome pirate videos in the future. Thank you guys for all of your support. The first journal is on the Uncharted Isle and 13. It'll be on the northwest side of the aisle. It is called What is the Devil's Shroud? And it explains that you need to go to Ancient Spire next. Ancient Spire Outpost is where the next journal is. Climb up the ladders, up to the tavern. Off to the right side of the tavern is a small bridge leading back to a cave where you will find the next journal. The name of this journal is An Ancient Clue. Once you read through, you will notice that there is a mention of Devil's Ridge and that is where you will find the next journal. Yes, it's a little out of the way. Pull out that trusty compass again and head to a camp that is on the north northwest side of the island. There you will find comings and goings and this is your third journal. It alludes to needing to go to Thieves Haven. Uh, Thieves Haven, I think, is one of the coolest places, just saying. Anyways, once you're at Thieves Haven, I just sailed right into the middle here, and off to the right will be a ramshackle shack covered in vegetation. Jump off your boat, head over to this shack, and you might need your lantern, because inside you will find a box with the journal called the Shroud Breaker, and it tells you you need to go to Plunder Outpost. Once you're on Plunder, head up to the tavern, turn back around, head down to the beach, and on the shore is a rowboat with the last journal, The Shores of Gold. Now checking your pirate's reputation log, you'll see that you have everything completed, all of the commendations, and if you've done this five times, you will also have the magpie's wings cannon. Just remember that the journals only count while you're on the quest, and you don't have to find the journals five times, just complete the quest five times. Congratulations! You've done everything that you need to open up all the cosmetics and commendations for the Shroud Breaker Tall Tale. Thank you guys very much, and come back again for our other pirate videos and Tall Tale tutorials. This time we will be covering the Tall Tale, The Cursed Rogue.